Welcome. The purpose of this tutorial is to introduce you to adding roof blocks using the Design Builder drawing tools. During the tutorial I will cover roof angle conventions, adding a roof block using pitched roof block form and finally adding a roof block using extruded roof block form. Further information on the topics covered is available in the help file. If a roof block is not added, a flat roof construction is automatically assigned to the top surface of the upper block if it is horizontal, and a pitched roof construction is assigned if the top surface is pitched. Please note that there may be variations to this where the analysis type is set to something other than Energy Plus to enable national calculation methodologies to be used. The simplest way to add a pitched roof is to select Add Block at Building Level and use the Pitched Roof Form of Building Block in the Geometry tab of Drawing Options. There are other ways of producing a roof using the drawing tools which is covered later in the tutorial. The Drawing Options dialog is where all the roof details are specified using the Add Block method, enabling you to draw a pitched roof using any perimeter shape on a horizontal plane. I will draw an unoccupied hip roof by leaving the Gable Roof and Roof Space Occupied options deselected. In this example, the roof eaves protrude 0.4 metres from the wall and the roof has a 35 degree slope and 0.1 metre construction thickness as set. You can then add the roof to the top block using either the polygon, rectangle or circle perimeter shapes to define the roof perimeter. I will select the rectangle shape and define the perimeter using the end point snaps. Remember to hold down the shift key on the highlighted surface before selecting the start point. Left click on the end snap point and you can release the shift key. The second click on the opposite corner confirms the block perimeter and the roof block is automatically created to the required dimensions. Orbiting the building we can see the finished roof from all directions. Note how the roof is automatically designated as a roof in the navigation panel here. The green text denotes that it's a semi-exterior unconditioned zone type which we'll discuss in later tutorials. When the pitched roof on your building is not of the standard hip or gable ended type you may need to create a block that better reflects the actual roof shape. You can do this by adding a block using the extruded form. To demonstrate the process I'll delete the existing roof replacing it with a sloping roof that has an apex 3 metres high and which is set back 3 metres from the northern façade. Select the existing roof block and delete it. I'll first use construction lines to locate the apex of the new roof. The first line locates the horizontal distance of 3 metres from the northern façade. At this stage it's important to ensure the construction line to the apex is drawn in the Z plane. Place the cursor on the vertical west wall until highlighted as so. Press shift, click once on the end snap point of the construction line, release the shift key 
move the cursor in the positive Z direction. Type in the number 3 to represent the 3 meter length and press enter. We now have a snap point to accurately locate the apex of the roof. Select the add block tool and ensure that the block form is set to extruded in drawing options and that the perimeter options are set to polygon and straight line. Again place the cursor on the vertical west wall until highlighted. Press shift, click once on the top corner snap point of the construction line and release the shift key. This has ensured that we will be drawing the end face of the block in the vertical plane. Now draw the vertical face of the block using the snap points. Because we are drawing in the vertical plane the block does not automatically extrude to the set length. Instead, we get a drag face cursor which enables us to manually select the length of the horizontal extrusion. Move the cursor along the building and finalize the length of the extrusion using one of the snap points on the east wall. You can see in the navigation panel that this block is designated as a standard building block as it was not constructed using the pitch roof form option. When drawing unoccupied and unconditioned roof blocks in this way you must ensure that their properties are changed to reflect their function. To do this go to block level then to the activity tab to change the zone type to semi exterior unconditioned accepting the prompt to load the default unoccupied data. It would also be good practice to change the name of the block to roof. Single click on the block name again and type in the new name pressing enter to confirm the change. Note now that the zone text colour has turned green to indicate that it is a semi-exterior unconditioned zone. Further information on these topics can be found in the help file and other tutorials.